You're from steel, and of course Cleveland is a center of steel making. A uh, question I have is, what does steel in particular need to do to pull out of this recession and then to be globally, to sustain its global competitiveness over the next 10, 20, 30 years? What we need to do to be competitive over the next 10 to 15 years, okay, a lot of that we've already accomplished. We need to become more efficient. We need to become more energy efficient. We've done a lot of that work. Frankly, we also need to continue our current path on being environmental stewards. It's extremely important in every industry that we recognize the need to be environmentally compliant with regulations and to recognize the threat that manufacturing does provide to the environment. And therefore, we need to continue doing what we have done in the last 10 years and address those issues by significantly improving our carbon footprints. Going forward, we need to, con to continue to focus on more efficient use of energy, more efficient use of our raw materials. I believe that we're doing that. And again, as I said earlier, I truly believe that we've done it to a level and we will continue to do it at the level required to be successful in world competition. But those would be the areas that I would say steel and manufacturing in general need to focus on. Efficiencies in our labor costs, in our energy costs, and in, uh, and in our, our environmental compliance to stay focused on that and the efficient use of our raw materials. Again, one of the best things I believe we can do, I'm speaking collectively to every person in this room, is to continue to encourage our government, to implore our government to give us a level playing field on which to compete. Once that happens, I believe we will compete successfully.